Hey boys and girls, welcome to week two, week three of October. I hope you had a great week. And this month we are talking about how God has plans for us. We don't have to worry because God already has everything mapped out in our whole lives. So just remember to pray and ask him for help. And he is ready to help you in any situation. Have a great week. Enjoy today's lesson. Bye-bye. This rain bothering you? Yes, Ollie. The rain is ruining my plans to play mini golf. It's hard when plans don't go the way you want them to. 
but there may be a lesson for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, oh it's so tough. Oh. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. Now, you would think being a handyman would make me pretty handy. <laughs> but I can't get the lid off this jar. Oh, it's really difficult. <sighs> well, actually, doing something difficult is what today's story is about. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a person named Joseph. Joseph trusted God and God had plans for him. Joseph also had a lot of older brothers. See if you can count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten brothers. Oh, that's a lot. One day, Joseph went to see his brothers who were taking care of the sheep. Uh oh, look at the brothers' faces. Are they happy? Oh, no, they were mad and very jealous. They didn't like that Joseph was wearing a special coat that their dad gave him, and they didn't get one. And Joseph was talking and talking about the dreams he had had, and his brothers were tired of listening. So they put Joseph into a hole and took his special coat. Oh, how do you think Joseph felt? That was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Then the brothers sent Joseph far away to the land of Egypt to work. Joseph didn't know if he would ever see his family again. Oh, it was so hard. But Joseph trusted God's plans for him. Joseph was a good worker and he did the right thing. He was such a good worker that he was given a bigger job. But then something bad happened. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? Oh no. People said Joseph did something bad that he didn't do and he was put in jail. was so hard. But do you think Joseph still trusted God? Yes. Everyone cheer for Joseph. Yay! Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Joseph trusted God's plans, even when it was hard to do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Even when it was hard, Joseph trusted God's plans. We can trust God's plans too, no matter what. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Instead of being sad about the rain, I'm going to practice hitting the ball. See you next time. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11.